So let's look at the tournament screen a little bit more. So we'll click in there. Um, one of the features is as drafts end uh, and you no longer have that tournament available, you can double click on the line and that will flag it to be no longer active. Uh, you can also filter to say only show me active tournaments. So as these go away, you can make them disappear from, from the list. Uh, you can bring them back simply by uh, hitting show active again and then double clicking on them again if you accidentally um, put it in the wrong place. But like Pomeranium Superflex and Chihuahua Superflex are both um, no longer active right now. So, uh, And also if you don't draft on DraftKings and Drafters, you can just remove those from the list so you don't have to see them. Um, and then it shows over here if, they're, if they have playoffs, um, if they have, um, if they're full, full torn, uh, full weeks of the NFL season, um, as you get into like week one, week two, week three, you'll be able to have drafts specifically for that. Uh, and they'll have different features. It also show you how much your buy-ins are. Um, so based on the number of drafts that you've done, it will calculate your total buy-in amount. So this could get, you know, if you have 500 drafts, that's maybe like $5,000 or whatever it may be, depending on the price of the, uh, each of the tournaments that you've bought into. Um, so that's it.